Hello everyone, welcome back to Ampnix. In this video, we are going to discuss something really exciting. Nowadays, everyone is using AI tools for their daily life tasks. Being an electronics engineer, I wonder can we utilize these AI tools for designing the hardware or writing the firmware or developing a product? So, the answer is not pretty straightforward. In last videos, we have utilized Grok AI, DeepSeek AI and ChatGPT for designing the hardware. In this video, we are going to design this complete hardware using KiCad and Google Gemini. So, let's get started. The user interface of Google Gemini is just like uh, other AI tools which we used in previous videos. So, we will try asking our question here in this inbox. And I already written all the prompts in my notepad so that we cannot exceed the video too long. So I will copy my prompt and I will paste it here. And the prompt is very simple. I'm designing a single channel MOSFET based motor driver circuit using IR2104 gate driver and IRF3205 MOSFETs. Can you generate a functional textual block diagram showing the main section, input section, driver stage? power stage and output of the motors so this is really simple uh, we are just giving a detailed prompt to google gemini so that it can give us a proper block diagram for it and why i mentioned the gate driver and mosfet because uh, uh, we have to figure it out like which mosfet we want to use and later on i will explain in the video that why i chosen this and if you don't have any idea about gate drivers and MOSFET, in that case scenario, you can just put your uh, voltage requirement and current requirement and try asking without mentioning any specific part number of the device. The AI tool will definitely help you to figure out the component selection. Okay, so as of now, I will just hit OK here. All right, so we can see here the functional block diagram. Uh, we are getting the input from the microcontroller which is true we will take the signals from the microcontroller and those signal is going towards the gate driver ic okay which is true and uh, we are we are going to follow this pattern only all right then this gate driver is connected with the mosfet okay true and then with the help of mosfet we are going to connect the dc motor or brushed motor so as of now we can say like this uh, block diagram is 90% uh, correct but if it, if it will mention the power section then that can be more uh, detailed that will look more detailed but as of now yes this is considerable and I can say yes uh, we can we gonna follow this block diagram to design our uh, motor driver so I will design the schematic on the basis of this block diagram only i designed the schematic on the basis of block diagram which was given by google gemini i already differentiated the uh, important parts of the schematic uh, with single single block so that you can read it easily so as of now you can see here our uh, first block is which is a signal and driver in so we are uh, we are getting the signal from the microcontroller on the header pins okay so this is our input section we can say which we are going to drive it from 3.3 volt and ground with the help of any stm32 or esp32 or whatever controller you want to use which works with 3.3 volt so this block diagram is responsible for getting the signals from the microcontroller all right uh, then we have the main section which is driver switching and for designing this circuit uh, you can take the help of data sheet also so what i will do i will just copy the co uh, part number and having a doubt so you can refer this data sheet also i will mention this link in the description also so that if you want to check it you can check it directly so this is a reference diagram or like you can refer this so on the basis of our application i chosen this uh, ic so with the help of this circuit what you can do you can drive 12 volt 24 volt or 6 volt motors easily all right and then further 
दिस इज वेरी सिंपल एंड मिनिमलिस्टिक एंड ना वी विल गो फॉर द स्केमेटिक रिव्यू सो सो फॉर रिव्यूइंग द स्केमेटिक वी विल अपलोड द स्केमेटिक पी डी एफ रिव्यू दिस की कैट स्केमेटिक फॉर एच ब्रिज मोटर ड्राइवर यूजिंग द सेम गेट ड्राइवर एंड मोस्टफेट आर देर एनी इशूज और इम्प्रूवमेंट्स कैन यू सजेस्ट रिगार्डिंग द कैपेसिटर प्लेसमेंट और बुट स्टैप कैपेसिटरी डेट टाइम हैंडलिंग एंड प्रोटेक्शन डायोड्स okay so review is here after reviewing the keycad schematic from h bridge motor driver uh, here are some observation what are they observation and potential areas for improvement number 1 capacitor placement and their sizing bulk capacitor such as 1000 microfarad 50 volt and uh, fourth uh, 470 nanofarad 100 volt the 1000 microfarad capacitor is good for bulk energy storage to handle motor current surges and 470 nanofarad capacitor is likely for high frequency decoupling that's true uh what is improvement while uh, 470 nanofarad is reasonable starting point for high frequency decoupling consider placing them to close as possible to mosfet pins uh power pins to minimize the trace inductance ensure their voltage rating is sufficient the motors operating voltage and with the margin adding similar ceramic capacitor 0.1 microfarad or 0.01 microfarad with parallel to 470 nanofarad capacitor also very close to mosfet can further improve the high frequency or noise suppression okay so the improvement which is suggesting us here it is important for uh, doing it on the layout designing as of uh, now in schematic it is good enough to move forward okay then for gate driver we have added 0.1 microfarad capacitor to vcc and this is generally good practice for local decoupling capacitor of driver ic improvement again ensure the placement okay so it is again telling us about the placement of the decoupling capacitor all right then for the bootstrap capacitor c3 c4 c9 c10 and uh, diode 1 and 4148w and what appear to be bootstrap capacitor all the values aren't clearly uh, visible beyond near to c3 and c9 and assume there are a range of 0.1 uh microfarad to 1 microfarad or 4.7 microfarad for high switching frequency frequencies and up appropriately rated this is the standard bootstrapping setup okay i'll check it uh, like c3 and c9 what's that so it is suggesting us to like uh, we should replace the value of uh, c3 and uh, c9 okay so this uh but for here like point 1 microfarad is more than sufficient so we do, i don't think so we need to change it although what we can do here is uh, we can change the value of c3 yes we can do it i guess because the uh, larger value can be effective in the circuit so what's the value of this uh, capacitor the effective value 4.7 microfarad all right so what i'll do i'll do it 4.7 microfarad and what are the improvements okay we already did that uh the bootstrap capacitor value is uh, crucial for maintaining the vbs and voltage for high side mosfet a common value of bootstrap capacitor is and again it's telling the same value and the important parameter about this is esr low esr capacitor which is uh, uh, basically equivalent series resistance so you have to always try to choose low esr capacitor they are uh, quite effective not quite effective we can say they are uh, very much effective for suppressing the noise in the circuits and that's why we always choose low esr capacitors for digital circuits okay then voltage rating bootstrap capacitors uh, ensure the voltage rating yeah that's true i mean we already uh, taken the sufficient value of the capacitor so no need to worry about it okay 
so what's the dead time handling the ir2104 inherently has fixed dead time prevent shoot through which is good so we don't have to worry about it i guess okay then the flyback diode irf3205 mosfet has intrinsic body diode which uh, while this diode can handle some flyback energy for inductive loads like motors and it's highly recommend to use external fast recovery high current flyback diode with parallel to a mosfet to safely dissipate inductive energy when the mosfet turns off these diodes are especially for protecting from the flyback effect so we have already placed it near and like what is the improvement explicitly verify these these values are indeed chosen as flyback diode and they are rated maximum a motor current and voltage spike short key diodes are often uh, preferred for faster recovery and lower forward voltage drop which improves efficiency so it is just repeating the same thing as to which is general improvement consideration the gate resistor so what is suggesting that 33 ohm gate resistor each mosfet is good starting point limiting gate current and damping oscillation okay so there's no suggestion here and for grounding ensure the ground connect uh, connections for the control signal driver ic and power stage are robust follow good star grounding principle okay so basically it is suggesting us to use star grounding uh, method so that you can minimize the noise in the circuit okay later on we will talk about it also and for heat dissipation uh, all right so when i uh, design the layout at that time i will tell you about these steps in detail i guess uh, this is a more than sufficient review and i can say like the review of google gemini is uh, if i have to rate it then i'll give give it uh, 70 percent correct and i'll minus 30 percent because uh, what i'm observing here the response of google gemini is not good as other ai tools in which we used earlier in previous videos even deep seek was better than google gemini and uh, chat gpt was quite good enough and even grok was also uh, giving us better answer or better response than google gemini anyways so the one thing i can say like the, you you cannot uh, rely on ai tools 100 percent but yes if you are facing some problems or doubts yes in that case scenario you can take the help of ai tools Okay, so for PCB design, I'm using one OZ copper and expecting up to three ampere peak current, peak motor current. What should be the minimum track width for power traces in CAT? Also advised to space for safe high current routing. Okay, I'll add one more thing here that uh, motor voltage. Okay. All right. So here we got the response on uh, track width selection and. Uh, we will check it out one by one so what's the minimum track width for 3 ampere peak current on one oz copper so for 3 ampere uh, the trace width approximately should be like 30 to 40 mils which is about uh, 0 0.76 to 1.02 mm is often recommended for internal layer and slightly less for external layer which means Gemini is saying us that if you are using multi-layer PCBs, then in that case scenario, you can go for 30 to 40 mils if you are using inner layers. But if you are using outer layer, which is front copper layer or bottom copper layer, then in that case scenario, you can make it little small or you can use lesser than this. So this is the Gemini suggestion. And what's the other suggestion apart from this, like if you want to increase the uh, performance or like heat of the PCB, then you can slightly make it larger such as 50 to 60 mils, which is uh, quite considerable. And for peak current, it is uh, more than sufficient. And if we talk about the trace and uh, like the clearance between two trace is about 10 mils which is 0.254 mm so it should be bare minimum like this and what you can do if you are considering the uh, maximum current then you can make the clearance about 15 to 20 mils 
and for pouring the copper it is suggesting us to use the copper pour for plane such as power and ground using slight significant reduce the why why to uh, pour the copper to reduce the resistance improve the current distribution act as a better heat sink which is really true so we will follow these instruction for designing the layout here we have designed the tracks of our pcb so we followed the same uh, suggestion which was given by google gemini and you can see here like uh, the power train or like the power track is slightly uh, more uh, have more width than the signal traces so you can see uh, why we did like this because this is carrying the current in it and it is about one uh, mm which is more than sufficient and for loads you can see here like we have utilized this polygonal track and if you don't know how to design the pcbs in keycad so you can learn about pcb designing in keycad in simple way so now we will check out the PCB's 3D model or like how our final PCB will look like and I will click here so you can see here uh, this and you can flip it also so in this way we have designed our PCB what we will do now I will uh, take a screenshot and uh, we will ask for rate and review of this PCB design okay so I'm not a huge fan of green color PCBs. What I will do, I will change the color of this PCB. I'll make it black. Uh, rate and review this PCB on a scale of 10. Let's see. we got the rating of our PCB additionally we got the review also so what are the strength in our PCB clean component layout okay clear leveling good use of silk screen mounting holes bootstrap components through hole connectors and large power traces all right and what are the areas of improvement uh, for which I guess it uh, detected three numbers so what are the area of uh, improvements so bulk capacitor placement while the large bulk capacitor c8 and c9 are present their placements appear to be somewhat far from the mosfet for power stage yes uh, so as you can see here like mosfet is here and we place the capacitors here so for that reason it is suggesting us that uh, you placed the capacitor far away from MOSFET if you keep it closer to MOSFET it will be much better so as of our requirement uh, this is uh, like more than sufficient it will uh, work properly so th this is not uh, something that you uh, should afraid about all right and then high frequency decoupling uh, there appears a smaller ceramic capacitor example c1 c2 c3 c4 near the driver ensure adequate high frequency okay so we already added the decoupling capacitor it basically telling us about like choose low esr capacitor and place it near to the gate driver and then we have thermal management mosfets appear to be in tu 220 package which is good for heat dissipation suggestion ensure the large copper area connected on the mosfet drain yeah we did it uh, i guess uh, the silk uh, the mask layer is black color that's why tracks are not visible so for that reason it is suggesting us okay so uh, if we add additional test point then uh, we, we we can get more uh, number on it but anyways uh, if i like we don't need uh, test point here so uh, we can check it over uh, mail header pins also so we can add one number here that's not a big deal anyways so out of 10 we can consider like rpcb got the rating of 7 or 8 whatever you want to consider and you can also rate this pcb in the comment and how, how much you rate this pcb after the designing so this was the video on keycat plus google gemini 
If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more technical content.